What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Knights here with another Mordhau top tier guide video. Now I have a lot more classes than I actually use and they are kind of just for demo's sake. Now the abbreviations and the armor layout and, and things like that, they work really well for me and I, I would like to think they also help you guys in the video kind of if you want to pause and zoom in or whatever you can kind of get the gist of things as opposed to if I just named my guys randomly. But I do recommend keeping things organized. And I wanted to quickly show you guys my stats, not to flex on you or anything, but to show you that I have, let's just call it 10,000 head hits, 30,000 torso hits, and let's call this 3,000 leg hits. Now what this means to me, if, if I look at this analytically, this means that I am three times more likely to get hit in the torso than I am the head and 10 times more likely, roughly a little bit less, but I'd say at least nine times more likely to get hit in the torso than I am the legs. Now this is probably different for duels, but when you're playing front lines, people often don't think to go for the legs. I think it just matters the most to have your torso covered. Obviously you wanna have at least a level one helmet, but I always use level two if I'm gonna be taking the game seriously. So I wanna just quickly let you guys know that you want to prioritize your armor layout in a way that makes the most logical sense prevents you from getting one-shotted but at the same time you want to kind of analyze your stats and see where you're getting hit the most um, so that's just kind of like my consensus on it the leg damage did get a change in this patch where you receive more leg damage and it's equivalent to the torso damage now kind of from top to bottom is my most used classes for frontline I'd say anything past the top 10 classes doesn't see much daylight at all. But anyways, starting things off, we have the Bardiche, 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 and this is a very, very solid weapon. Probably my favorite weapon in the game, especially after its buff, and it's just super fun to use. And I am using a 231 loadout. Moving down the list, we have this Y 221, and he has friendly as well i didn't list it in the title so yeah have to cut points somewhere i do really like my friendly and my bandage for front lines now this is an interesting build and i've been using him quite a bit lately this is a messer 332 so super heavily armored given that the messer is a five point weapon now the pavise shield is one point now friendly is one point and bandage is one point so these three perks together in my opinion are worth probably at least five to seven points and it's insane that you can get them for so cheap so i highly recommend using these three together if you can afford it the pavise just prevents it, it protects you against archers from the rear you can pull it out in front of you and rush archers with it and they'll hit the shield you can lay it down to use a bandage or passively heal behind it's got a lot of uses and it adds another layer to the game mechanically and just play style wise now i have the executioner 232 Again, friendly bandage. I'm not going to kind of repeat myself over and over again. If you see the FRB plus, that means it has friendly and bandage. This is a pull axe, 232. Now, again, I prefer weapons that are a little bit drag heavy on the damage. Now, not so drag heavy that your stabs are not convincing when you faint them or morph them. I want to use weapons that are not quite as bad at stabbing as the executioner and war axe now again those are two two of some of the best weapons in the game but to make my ideal weapon i would run like a 70 30 stab or drag to stab damage ratio whereas pull axe is kind of like 60 40 heavier on the stabbing end so i do like weapons that can stab and pose a threat with stabbing it makes them all around more convincing when you're one v wanting better players but I just wanted to mention that I do prefer drag heavier weapons. Now we have the War Axe, Bandage Friendly Rush, 231. I threw in Rush here because I'm used to playing on the 231 loadout. And by having Rush, it really adds a nice touch to such a short weapon like this. If you're able to kill somebody and, and lay off a combo strike onto some other guy, you'll be able to rush into them and it'll make up for that... Um, shorter weapon length now we have the evening star 231 i think he's been in some of the other videos battle axe 332 super good for front lines and dueling but this is a frontline class 
Messer Buckler 232. Now this guy used to have level one legs and a level three helm, but I changed it for the meta. If you have enough points, always, always use at least level two legs, but if you have to cut it, I definitely still recommend taking off the legs. Now it's, it's a little bit more of an argument lately now that leg damage has changed, but I still, if you have to snip off a point of weapon or point of armor, I would do it off the legs. Longsword Pavis, 332. Still interesting class, very survivable, not very committal. The Maul, 331. This one has friendly as well. I just haven't added it in the title. So 331, bandage friendly. I, I added the uh, level three to the head here because the Maul is so short, you gotta get in so close and you do end up taking more headshot damage when you're, when you're in closer. Next we have the Great Sword, 232. This is a very good class. I also want to quickly mention that Great Greatsword is one of the best weapons in the game now, after this recent buff. And it, you're going to be seeing a lot more of it in comp and in duels, along with frontline. It's, it's so good right now. Executioner 111 dodge acrobat with a bandage. Now, I didn't really use dodge until I played my meme classes and I threw on dodge just to piss people off. And it's actually quite fun. I wouldn't say it's top tier, but it's a lot of fun and you can still pop off in certain circumstances. Now it does benefit if you can run ac Acrobat and even lighter armor will allow you to dodge further and keep moving faster. Next we have Max Armored Longsword with a bandage or else this would be, this can totally be for dual server too so you can heal up in between fights, but this is also a good hybrid build for playing frontline. This is a Bloodlust Messer. 231. Now we have the same loadout, but with the War Axe. 231. A Halberd 121, the bandage. Now I I remove friendly here because I need to keep myself armored. And I honestly, I mean I could live without a bandage, but it really slows down the play style. In front lines, I like to full send it, so having the bandage is really nice. This is a comp build, longsword, arming sword, 332, friendly. This is a level two all across the boards. Why? Now, I think in, in duels, people, if you have level one or lo lower legs, they're gonna aim for your legs a lot because it'll make it so you can get two shot. So be cautious. That's why I run slightly heavier legs in dueling, at least when I have a very expensive weapon. Max Armor Longsword with Second Wind. Max Armor Greatsword, no perks. Max Armor Executioner. No perks. This is a interesting build, Messer Buckler 332. Now what people have been doing in duels is they'll have a buckler in their secondary slot. And if they're gonna lose out on Stam or they're getting close, they can pull out their buckler, get the buckler knocked out of your hand and get 30% back of your stamina and end up out stamming like 90% of people you duel. So it's a unique kind of cheese but it, it is interesting. It allows you to two-hand your sword if you prefer that for dueling. Now we have the Max Armored Maul, Mr. Darth Maul here for duels. I wouldn't say Maul is the best dueling weapon, but it can be fun. Executioner 331, second win. If you are wearing light legs, you can throw over some of these skirts and it will hide that you're running light legs and will prevent them from aiming for your legs quite as much. Pro tip. A 332 second wind battle axe. This is a super good tool build. Now we're moving into some archer builds, crossbow builds, things like that. Now, again, I don't really use this, but to entertain the fan base and people that are interested in using archer builds, this is a recurve bow arming sword 122 to keep up the speed. That's why I have heavier legs. And bandage with huntsman, super neat build, decently well rounded. Longbow. 120 arming sword very nice build no perks though crossbow messer super good hybrid for kind of just spacing out your shots and having your sword on hand whenever you don't see a clear time to reload and he has huntsman as well this is a crossbow cleaver one across the board with dodge and huntsman war axe cat friendly fireproof this is a really good combo for crossroads. 
using cap friendly fireproof on crossroads is highly recommended in my opinion this is a horse build for spearing dodge spear to be annoying i don't really use this though i would kind of consider this a meme build honestly now my referee full meme build builds we have referee henry bankshaft he's got fire pots and a bunch of perks with a messer and fully nude along with his brother billy bankshaft and he's got a falchion and double javelins along with an array of perks jimmy bankshaft the musically inclined triplet has a loot and two medic bags for being a good team player lamb sauce here he is a chef and he's <laughs> got triple cast irons and a few other perks now we got our tomato tomato gank's got the maul and friendly fireproof lightish armor and of course a few fire pods now the jester he's kind of like from Sesame Street in a sense but in reality I would say this is one of the best if not the best engineer build in the game and it's hard to take seriously because he looks so ridiculous but um, Smith perk I mean it's a must for engineering not necessarily a must but it really helps the heavy hand axe can mess people up and help you build along with tear down your old structures level one armor across the board and the toolbox with a bandage so those are the classes you guys i hope you learned something i hope you enjoyed the video and i really appreciate you sticking around if you enjoyed the video don't forget to leave a like and drop a sub if you haven't already and turn the notifications on and i look forward to catching you guys in the next video peace